Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here. And in this video, we're going to talk about a completely different product. We have been reviewing smartphones on this channel. So today we're going to talk about a storage device, specifically the NAS. So what is NAS and how it is helpful? That's what we are going to talk about in this video. So before getting into the detail aspects, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So before getting uh, into the detailed aspect about NAS, so what is NAS? So network attached storage, that's what NAS means. So it's basically a storage device which is connected to the, to the internet. So that means you can access this uh, uh, storage device across the globe uh, using the network. So network access storage or NAS has a lot of advantages. So what are these advantages? So today in the digital world, we'll use uh, smartphones, laptop and other handheld devices. So we uh, use, we handle a lot of files uh, including images, documents, uh, MP3s, uh, movie files. So you need to store all these files it can be a computer hard disk external hard disk or it can be a NAS so network attached storage the advantage of a network attached storage it's basically a computer hard disk connected to the network so advantage of this uh, uh, network attached storage is that you can access these files from any location so you can access all this storage from any location uh, you just need an internet and your NAS should be connected to the network that's the only requirement and you can access uh, the storage from either your smartphone laptop tablet anywhere uh, from your Android phone or even your Apple devices uh, that's the advantage of NAS now apart from this NAS also can be used uh, for a lot of other purposes like streaming your media files across the uh, internet you can also use uh, this as a web server for a WordPress uh, 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 hosting service you can also use network attached storage so a lot of advantages are there for the network attached storage so today we're going to talk about a specific network attached storage device from Synology so we have the Synology DS220 plus so this is the network attached storage we are going to talk about so this is a, a product from uh, Synology they are the pioneers in terms of network attached storage so how useful this is how to set it up what are the features it offers? That's what we're going to uh, dig deeper into this product. So this is the DS220 Plus. This is the Synology DS220 Plus. It's a network attached storage. You can attach two hard disks uh, to this. So let's uh, go into the deeper aspects. Uh, uh, first, let's have a look at uh, how, uh, what are features this offers and how to mount a storage, how to configure this and what all the functionality is available. So let's begin. So this is the Synology DS220 Plus. So we'll just uh, introduce you to how it works and what all the functions it offers. So this is the Synology uh, NAS uh, DS220 Plus and it has two slots for hard disk. So if we have the Synology branding here, the front panel has some LED indicators. So you can see here uh, we have the status indicator LAN, uh, then LAN, two LAN ports are there, then disk space is there. We have a USB port, then uh, the power button included. Now the back uh, you get uh, two LAN ports here. So you can see here there are two LAN ports included. Then uh, we have the lock if you want to place it somewhere. Then we have another USB port and the DC input, the power port. Now this has a fan that to cool the uh, uh, temperature here when it is being used. So this has actually uh, an operating system just like our uh, laptop or mobile devices. This also has an operating system. So this is the Linux based uh, uh, operating system uh, disk station manager DSM is it's called. So DSM operates uh, on how to protect your hard disk in, in case of power failure or any sort of vibration. So it handles all, all these things and it also provides you with an interface. Now the front part, uh, part of uh, this uh, NAS has an opening here. So you can see this is how you open it and we have two slots uh, for hard disk. So this is slot one and slot two. So uh, all you need to do is just push and uh, take this slot out. There you go. You can see uh, there are two slots available. Now uh, there are different hard disks available. Uh, now the internal hard disk, uh, laptop hard disk, external hard disk. Now there is a special hard disk for NAS storage as well. So you need to buy that uh, storage. Now you can also use uh, the regular 2.5 inch uh, hard disk. Here. So there are uh, four screws available. So uh, the box has the screws for using uh, the smaller hard disk. But you get uh, NAS uh, supported hard disk. So this is one of those hard disks. So you can see here. This is uh, the Seagate uh, Iron Wolf uh, NAS storage. You can see here. Uh, this is specifically made for NAS, and we have it. 
4 TB hard disk right now. So if you buy, uh, if you're going to buy a hard disk for NAS, make sure you uh, buy the NAS supported uh, storage. So this is very useful. Uh, the power, uh, the performance would be definitely better if you go with the NAS supported uh, hard disk. So this is uh, the hard disk. So we just mounted it. So you, you need to buy this separately. You don't get with uh, the Synology NAS. So you need to buy the separate hard disk. So once you've bought it, so just uh, uh, mount it. So there you go. So we just uh, added it here. So there are two uh, slots available uh, for two hard disks. Now there are different uh, Synology devices with multiple slots like four or five slots are there. Uh, we have the one uh, DS220 plus with two slots and you can go with uh, multiple storages as well. And uh, once you're done, uh, just uh, push it inside and uh, now we are uh, ready to go. Now what you need to do is just power on this, connect uh, your LAN port and uh, connect it to your modem and get started. So we'll just uh, explain it how this works. So now uh, once you have uh, set up uh, the device, uh, what we, what we uh, showed uh, in the previous step, now what you need to do is just go to your browser, make sure you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network and find.synology.com and uh, it will uh, actually detect uh, the Synology NAS on the network and it will configure it. It's a very simple process. All you need to do is just go through the, uh, the setup process which shows up on your screen. So once you're set up, this is the OS, this is the disk uh, station manager or, or it is called DSM. It's actually an operating system. It's based on Linux. So you can see here package center, control panel, file station and DSM help. And you can see the system health and uh, resource monitor here, uh, the CPU, RAM and uh, the connection details. Uh, right now we are connected only one LAN and you can see that uh, the server details are uh, the, uh, the health of the NAS everything you can monitor now there are different aspects to it uh, so package center is something where you can install a lot of applications onto your Synology if you want to use a web server you can install the the web server package if you want to uh, stream uh, video files from your NAS you can install that so there are lots of packages available so you can actually configure those packages uh, and uh, you can install those packages on uh, here so you can see here these are the installed packages so storage analyzer usb copy photo station so uh, there are a lot of, uh, of packages available so based on what is your need you can install those packages so that's uh, one thing you can do from the package center now going to the control center so this is where you control all the uh, nas related stuff so you can create a shared folder so there are different file uh, services available one is network file system nfs uh, so you can select which one you want uh, uh, you, you need to enable it here there is also a server message block that is smb now if you are on an apple system uh, we also have apple filing protocol that's afp so based on that uh, you can uh, select which all protocols you want then you can create your own uh, user uh, details uh, then um, these are some options the network connections uh, themes uh, all those things you can con control here now uh, now next uh, is uh, the control going back to the control panel you can actually uh, configure what all the functions you want so you can see here uh, connectivity option there is also quick connect now the advantage of quick connect is that in case you are you want to access your uh, nas uh, say if you are not at a home or office say you want you are in a different country and you want to access your network storage uh, the important thing is that uh, cube connect is an option wherein you can connect uh, from a remote location using your username and password so that's the cube connect option so cube connect is very important if you want to access the nas from outside uh, uh, your network then uh, there are a lot of additional options included here you can configure it now you can also create uh, uh, a storage uh, here shared folder or storage uh, space uh, in that storage space you can create multiple folders say for example now if you go to the file station so this is the file manager so file station uh, we have created multiple uh, uh, here so this is photos so photos is basically a backup from uh, my iphone so once you've installed uh, the file manager app on the iPhone you can actually sync all your photos uh, from your smartphone devices iPhones Android phones directly to this uh, uh, NAS now you can also back up all your files so right now we you can see here photos backup so this is our complete backup of all the uh, photos so we have almost like uh, uh, 500 or 600 MP of storage uh, available here so you can back up everything and access uh, uh, all these uh, files from any location uh, using the NAS server so these are some useful features so we have created multiple folders so uh, based on how you want now you can also back up all your files from uh, Windows or Mac PC using the available uh, storage options and you can also back up from smartphones and uh, 
uh, other uh, digital media as well so everything can be backed up uh, into the nas uh, here so there are multiple apps available from uh, synology to connect uh, to the drive and access the storage so for example on my iphone i have the ds file manager which allows you to access uh, all the uh, files so you can see here right now uh, this is actually taking the files from uh, the uh, backup here so you can see here i'm just taking files so these are photos which are available in the uh, nas and i'm accessing using the uh, file manager so this is the ds file you can also see there is a ds photo manager so you can actually connect and uh, see all the drives where uh, you can uh, pick uh, your photos then there is also drive manager so this is the, again uh, another option so there are lots of apps available uh, in the play store as well as ios uh, you can access uh, your synology drive now another thing about uh, the network attached storage is that uh, uh, when i mentioned that this is uh, available across uh, uh, devices and uh, across places you might ask uh, why not go with uh, already existing networks or uh, cloud storage like the google drive or onedrive now if you want uh, a good uh, storage capacity on the online drives like the google drive or the onedrive for example uh, uh, just take the example of uh, google drive a 2 tb storage uh, cost around 6500 rupees uh, per year and if you want to go higher storage a 10 tb hard disk uh, space uh, or other cloud storage space cost around 32,000 rupees uh, in India. Now, almost this is very high cost actually if you want to maintain all your files online. So, this is where uh, the NAS comes into play. Now, with NAS, it's just a one time investment. You don't have to worry about paying yearly. So, you can save a lot of money going forward because uh, uh, with cloud storage, you have to pay a yearly cost. Uh, so, every year you have to pay uh, an additional cost. And also, uh, when you are uh, uh, going to have multiple files and your storage capacity is increased you will have to pay for additional storage but with the network attached storage again it's a one-time investment you can plan your hard disk space so that it's just a one-time uh, investment and once you purchase a hard disk you don't have to uh, uh, st buy storage uh, on the cloud storage you can use the nas and uh, you can access your files across the globe so that's another additional feature of the nas so that is the detailed aspects about the Synology DS220 Plus, the network attached storage what we reviewed right now. So if you're looking for a, a storage device, instead of having the regular hard disk uh, or external or internal hard disk, we highly recommend you to go with uh, a NAS or a Synology uh, NAS. There are different models available. You can choose from Amazon. The one we reviewed, uh, we have uh, provided in the description of this video. You can go ahead and buy it. It's a highly recommended product uh, because uh, there are multiple uh, aspects about the NAS. One is that you can access it uh, across the globe. Uh, you don't have to carry it around. Then uh, there are additional protection available uh, for your data, uh, unlike the regular hard disk so there are a lot of features available uh, you can actually configure how you want uh, your storage you can access it from your smartphone laptop tablet so network attached storage has a lot of advantages and if you're looking to create your own uh, storage device instead of paying for google uh, uh, services uh, you can actually go ahead and try this uh, network attached storage so this is one of the really recommended products and if you plan to buy this we'll have the link in the description of this video you can go ahead and buy the network attached storage storage so that's it for this video this is the signing off with the network attached storage demonstration and a synology ds220 plus introduction so hope this video was useful do hit that like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day